The man looks across the street at his neighbor. The curtains are closed at the last minute. The beautiful woman comes out just as she hears the doorbell. Through the cat's eye, there's no one there. Just as she leaves the door, the doorbell rings again. She opens the door and tries to catch the mischief maker. But she doesn't find him. What she doesn't realize is that a transparent person has entered her room. When she closes the door and returns to her room, she was brushing her hair in front of the mirror. The mirror suddenly moved. She got up and backed away. Her ex-girlfriend came to see him. She leaves the door unlocked and walks right in. Transparent man is ready to go home after playing poker. He saw a burglar in his house. The woman saw the mask discarded on the bed. She knows that this man is beyond redemption. The woman met him as she was leaving. She sees that it's his ex-girl friend, she's still invisible. The ex-girlfriend didn't realize he was there. Her sixth sense tells her that this place is dangerous. The only thing she can think of is to get out of here. The transparent man experiment is still going on underground. The woman is tying up the bandages with great vigor. As the red potion was injected, the invisibility is gradually lifting. All the body tissues are slowly recovering. So this is a gorilla going from normal to invisible. From invisibility back to normal, it's a very dangerous process. Luckily, the experiment has closed the loop perfectly. The next step is to start human trials. But when we report to our superiors, in order not to let them interfere with his progress, Jack hid the results. He prepared the human experiment in private. What's even more unexpected? He was going to use his own body for the experiment, but his teammates didn't even know it. A terrible monster was about to be born. Back at the lab, Jack, already in a state of madness, couldn't wait to get undressed and lay down on the lab bench. He injected himself with the invisibility potion. In excruciating pain, his body became invisible, as his bones slowly became invisible. Eventually, he became completely invisible. Jack became the world's first invisible man, the invisible Jack. The only way to see him is through thermal imaging. He had to stay invisible for three days to collect data. As the first invisible man, he can't just lie there for three days, all day long. He's being experimented on. He's got a twisted mind. Spooky night is coming. First up, the vet. Jack came to her. First he stroked her hair, then her neck. He was getting bold. The vet was woken by a sudden discomfort. Just in time to see Jack back in bed on the CCTV. The next day there was no evidence. Even she couldn't tell if it was a dream or a real thing. She had to let it go. But it's the shadow that's been cast over all the girls. Faced with the presence of an invisible man, they had to wear thermal glasses to go to the toilet. All the women were terrified. Anna didn't believe Jack would do such a thing. At night, she's alone with her experiments. Suddenly she was harassed by Jack. She was confronted by Jack's incessant chatting. Anna finally believed the vet. She fled the scene. Three days passed. A colleague injected him with an injection. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Once again, Jack was put through the pain without the desired effect. The experiment had failed. The potion had no effect on the invisible man. In order to avoid any further misunderstandings, they made a rubber mask for Jack. The handsome man became bald. Luckily, he can return to his normal life. For a while, his colleagues can only smile. No more paranoia. I don't know if it's a side effect of the potion. Jack's temper is getting more and more unstable. There was nothing that could be done to restore Jack's temper. Finally, Jack had an outburst. He's been cursing at his colleagues for a while now, throwing things around. He didn't want to be here anymore, so he sneaks out of the lab. When he got home, he saw his neighbor, and then the whole thing started. He came back to the lab with a bag. He just said he was going back for his clothes. Anna was furious. She warned Jack that if he did it again, she'd report him. It'll be the end of us all. The first time, the seeds of evil had been planted. Jack was lying in bed. He spent every waking moment thinking about how to get out safely. He looked at the camera above his head. He sets the camera to replay. It's playing back the footage of him lying in bed. He goes to Anna's place and finds her with Tom. He smashes the glass in a fit of rage. He's been working so hard in the lab. His ex-girlfriend Anna was living happily ever after with Tom. He's getting more and more irritable. Hearing the dogs barking made him feel even worse. The innocent and visible dog became his target. He brutally slams the dog to death. Now he's beyond help. The vet came to work and found the dog. She asks Jack if he did it. Jack denied it. The vet told Anna what happened last night. Anna found out about the surveillance trick. It's just a matter of time before something happens. So she went to her superior's house. Jack's been following her. Anna reported the events at the lab and left. 
She then called the superiors to solve Jack's problem. The phone lines went dead at some point. He went to the yard to relieve himself. He was pushed into the pool by Jack. No matter how hard he struggled, he couldn't get out of the water. Jack took care of the superior and left in peace. The next day, everyone's here. They're ready to receive Jack's punishment from his superiors. What they receive is the news of their superior's death. The phones went dead. The system was locked down. They couldn't get out. They knew it had to be Jack. The group started walking towards Jack's bed. All they see is a discarded mask on the bed. The careful black girl had just put on her thermal imaging glasses. She had just put on the thermal imaging glasses when she was attacked by Jack. Jack. They realized that she was missing and felt bad. They found her in a cupboard. They couldn't believe it. How could this have happened? They couldn't just sit there and wait. Otherwise everyone will die. They used a locator device to detect Jack's position. In pursuit of Jack, Kenny was put in a chokehold. Tom shot his gun. He landed on a piece of iron. Tom wasn't much better. Kicked off by Jack. Anna saved Tom in the nick of time. But the vet wasn't so lucky. He was taken out with a bullet. Jerry was attacked. Tom was stabbed and Anna was put in the freezer. Turned the temperature down, trying to freeze them both to death. And before they left, they dressed themselves up. He put on eyebrows and sunglasses. To destroy the evidence Jack decided to blow up the lab, leave no evidence behind. It was the only way he could get away with it. And he made a time bomb to destroy everything. Anna wasn't just sitting around. She used a coil to create a magnetic device, placed it on the door and unlocked the bolt. The first thing she did was light a fire to warm Tom up. Then she grabbed a flamethrower and went after Jack. Anna came after Jack as soon as he got into the lift. There was no way out. Jack had to beg for his life. A woman's got to be tough. She licked the gun and sprayed Jack with it. The fire was intense, but Jack's been transformed by the potion. He's invisible again. To make Jack visible, she ran the fire towards the hydrant. In the pouring rain, Jack reveals himself. He stomps Anna to the ground. Tom comes up behind him with a crowbar and knocks him down. Jack fumbled for the crowbar and threw it. He hits the power switch and falls to the ground. The time bomb is about to explode. They climb up the lift shaft. There was an explosion. The lab and the invisible man were destroyed. What would you like to do if you became invisible? Write down and tell me.